Deputies in Pasco County arrested a man who they say may be behind more than 29 burglaries. Our Jason Beisel shows you how investigators combine some new technology and old-fashioned police work to catch him. A cat burglary is especially bad. Why? Because it's putting a criminal within inches of a sleeping victim. Pasco detectives believe this man, 42-year-old Sean Culver, is responsible for a series of break-ins around Lake Christina. He typically stole purses, wallets, bags, um, and small electronics. According to detectives, Culver made his way inside through sliding glass doors. He also targeted homes with people sleeping inside. Well, one thing we know is most criminals strike very close to where they live. What makes this case different? Geographic profiling. And essentially what that is is a spatial analysis of linked series of crimes to determine a bad guy's hunting pattern. To give you an idea how geographic profiling works, this is a map of the neighborhood where most of the burglaries took place. These black dots shows homes that were broken into. The color dot shows where the suspect may live or be hanging out at. As the color dots come closer together, the higher the probability of the suspect being in that area. Just like in this case, detectives discovered Culver living right around here. We were pretty dead on. We had it narrowed down to about 70, 80 houses of where this suspect lived. Geographic profiling also helped detectives focus on areas they believe Culver would strike next. He hit right where we had a deputy posted. So you can't get any more accurate than that. Sheriff's detectives say Culver may be responsible for other break-ins and are still investigating. Jason Beisel, ABC Action News.